Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Absolute Beginner's Guide to Minecraft. I'm Paul of Thebes. And you may remember in episode 50, if you watched it, it was a long one. I wouldn't blame you if you didn't. <laughs> you didn't have to watch all of it. <laughs> uh, we did a bit of timing. Well, look at this guy. Speaking of timing, see can we get him before... Ah! Yeah. <laughs> another bit of timing that you might like to look at. And it is called a daylight sensor. I'm just going to have a look at it. This is what the daylight sensor looks like. And these are the pieces that you need to make it. So let's get our crafting bench that we don't have. And we don't have any wood. Hey, aren't I well prepared today? <laughs> okay, I'll be back in a second. Okay, here we go. I want to show you how to craft this. Three glass on top, three nether quartz in the middle, and three slabs on the bottom wood slabs of course and it doesn't matter which type of wood it is oak birch doesn't matter so that's your daylight sensor i've got four of them now <laughs> i did this of course already and i've got to press record <laughs> so here we go i've taken a, i've taken out <laughs> oh my goodness i've taken out uh, some redstone here from this timer and I'm gonna pop this down and as you can see it's setting off my redstone and my fireworks Whee! that's only gonna send out that one signal it's not gonna pulse like this clock so it's only gonna set it off once it sends it all the way around now as the daylight is sinking uh, I can right click this and it's powering it as well and you can see that's pretty good, but that will get stronger as the night comes. Uh, because it's getting late, I, this didn't reactivate. So I'm going to show you over here the signal strength. Okay, so this is in daylight mode and this is in nighttime mode. All you do is pop it down, right click it, and that switches it. Much like the comparator here, we can put it into a subtraction mode by right clicking. Okay. So just change of color, which is nice too for a building block. See, so yeah, pretty good. So as you can see, as night time comes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on this one, okay, at the moment. It hasn't gone to eight. And this one is the daylight, and as the daylight sinks, it'll get shorter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's on seven as well at the moment. And this one's gone up to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there it's going to nine. And this one is shrinking as the sun sets. One, two, three, four, five now. You might even see it if I look at it. Might see it going off, turning dark. Will we? Hmm. Yes, there we go. <laughs> and if we go over here, if you really want to stare at this for a while, you might see this one coming on. Basically, what's happening at night time. The sun is sh uh, shrinking, sinking, <coughs> shrinking, sinking. Ah, there it goes on. Anyway, <clears throat> my goodness, my other take was so much better. <laughs> and then I messed it up. I messed it up completely. But as the night time comes and the sun is sinking, <laughs> this is getting a, a stronger output. And in this mode, this one is shrinking. So it'll go completely off at one point. If I right click that, the, the signal strength will go out as well. So you can see that. So it's nearly gone. Sun is almost out of view. So you can use these for timers, much like this, but it's got a simple on off. Oh, look at this one. Hi. What do you got? Hmm? I got strength from the beacon. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so there we go. Sending out a good, powerful signal. No signal at all whatsoever now. So these can be used, as I say, for timing. You can set yourself up to have a little, maybe, note block go off or a series of note blocks to play yourself a little tune at night or in the morning or sometime during the day, depending on the signal strength. Uh, you can work that out. And you can use it for other things as well. You could use it... Mm, use your imagination. Let's say you wanted to... Uh, Oh, hello. Surprise one of your friends. Hello, little Manning. How are you? <laughs> yes, goodbye. Uh, with a nice little uh, bedtime surprise. They're maybe popping in for the night. And as it comes to the night time, they're just about to go to sleep. And boom! <laughs> uh, 
you have a nighttime set sensor set up just before it gets to night to send off a pile of TNT under their bed. <laughs> now, I want to show you something else. Take a stone slab and six sticks arranged like so and you will make yourself an armor stand. Okay. Right. Take that and we can pop it down. There. We'll pop it down anyway. Have I got a... Yeah, let's take this. It's got an interesting hitbox. Uh, pop it down here. You see, it'll go at the angle. Or, let's get it again. It'll go straight. If I go straight myself. <laughs> and if... Let me take my armor off. And if I hold it in my hand and right click it, it will go on. If I right click it, it will come off. So I can dress the armor stand with my armor where'd my boots go where's my boots oh dear where did they go now i put them back on <laughs> ah dear oh dear oh dear okay so there we go there's your armor stand pretty cool huh and uh, you can have it ready you know to suit up yourself and off you go but they're pretty cool let me just take that. I'm going to pop over here and put it with our building blocks and use it as a decoration, whatever you like. And the, the fun thing about it is it is gravity affected by gravity. Yes, it's gravity affected, affected by gravity, affected by gravity, gravity affected. Hmm. <laughs> I'm having one of those days, folks. Just, you know, ignore me. Uh, and I'm wondering, okay, I'm going to put it on this and I take this away. Bam. Down she comes. Wait, let me get rid of that now and pop that back there. I want to pop my armor stand. I was going to call it a gravity stand. Woo, there. <laughs> and where? And one of these. No, let's put two of them out. Let's put one here. And let's put one here. So we'll change this color. We'll leave that as these. Okay. A little more decoration. Why not? Did I ever bring over the droppers and hoppers and all that kind of stuff I did okay so that's good we have more blocks to build with and play with and um, I think that's about it and this cow is coming up after me <laughs> thanks very much for watching uh, have a play around with your day and nighttime sensors you know you you'll figure out which length of redstone you need to activate for the certain time of day or night and enjoy We'll see you in the next one. All the best. Bye-bye.